All right, in this tutorial, we're going to explore the concept of subtyping and inheritance. Um, so in order to kind of understand the concept of subtyping, let's think about the concept of motorized vehicles. So you have motorized vehicles, and amongst motorized vehicles, you have cars, SUVs, trucks, and other things. And amongst cars, you have convertibles. Now, if you think about a convertible, every convertible is going to have all of the same properties that a car is, and a car is going to have all the properties of more generic motorized vehicles. So when you think about it like that, you can see that convertibles inherit the properties and methods of cars, and cars inherit the properties and methods of motorized vehicles. So let's go ahead and take a look at how that works in Objective-C. Let's go ahead and launch Xcode. Let's open up our previous project. And let's go ahead and take a look at our car implementation or interface. So we've got right here the, the cars have a color, they have a location, they have a certain number of wheels. But let's go ahead and think about convertibles. Convertibles are going to have a color, they're going to have a location, they're going to have a certain number of wheels, but they're also going to have the ability to put their top up and down. So Let's go ahead and say that we wanted to define a convertible. Scroll down here, and let's go ahead and set up the interface first. So I'm going to type in at interface. We're going to say convertible is the name of our class, and then car is the class that we're inheriting. So we're actually going to have this be a subclass of all this. For our instance variables, the only thing that we want to do is we want to create a Boolean variable type top up. And then for our methods, we're going to uh, set a property of Boolean top up. Now, quick note on the use of bool. Uh, bool is actually type deft as a C car, which means that it's an 8-bit integer. Um, in short, what it means is, is that uh, it can actually hold 256 values. We're only going to use values yes and no, which are also equivalent to 0 and 1, as we'll see here later. Next, we need to create the implementation for convertible. So we're going to scroll down here past our implementation for car. And we're actually going to set up our implementation. So. And we're just going to synthesize top up, just to make things quick. So there you have it. There's our implementation of convertible. And if I hit build and run, you'll see that I need to add a semicolon. But debugging ends normally, so everything works just as it should. So now let's go ahead and scroll down and actually put convertible to use. So we're going to come down here and we're actually going to change our use car to a convertible. So we're going to change that to convertible and then we're going to scroll down and where we actually allocate and initialize our used car, we're going to change it to using convertible as well. I'm going to go ahead and open the console. And you can see that before, the new car is located at 2 and the used car is located at 10. And this was the output that we got. Now I'm going to build and run. And there you have it. You see that even though we changed it to a convertible, it comes back in and it gives us the exact same output. Now, if you think back to our interface, you'll notice that we didn't actually include any of the methods here that we used on used car down here, i.e. the set location method. The reason is, is because when we defined used car as convertible, it inherited the set location method from our car implementation right here. So we synthesized location here in car, and when we said that convertible was a subtype of car, that meant that it gets all of this as well. But what's the point of having convertible if we don't put the top down? So let's go ahead and do just that. So 
So right here, we said that we're going to set the top up equals no. And then we're going to come down here, and we are actually going to uh, show that the top is no longer up. Because it's a Boolean, we want it to display as an integer, so we're actually going to use percent sign i here as well. So when I build and run, it will now say that our convertible's top is zero. The reason is because when we say set top up no, no is actually defined as zero. In fact, if you change this to yes, you will see that it changes right here to one. Change this back to no. Now, this is really good and all. But one thing that's important to know is about the concept of naming collisions. Now, let's think about, for example, if we had a fast car. We want our fast car to move twice as fast as our regular car. So if we scroll up and we look at the interface for, or the implementation for our car, we have move car forward equals location plus feet, move car backward equals location minus feet. What if we want it to be go twice as fast? What we can do is, is we can actually create a new subclass called fast car and overwrite what move car forward and move car backward do. So let's go ahead and define our interface. Again, we're just naming it as fast car and then car. And the thing is, is we're not really doing anything new here. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of all this. You'll notice that in the interface, because of the fact that I'm inheriting from car, I don't even need to define move car forward and move car backward. It will just understand that it's supposed to inherit from that. The implementation then becomes where we really need to uh, start focusing on things. So I'm going to actually, just for the sake of time, copy the first half of the car implementation. I'm going to come down here paste it back in, change this from car to fast car, and then what we're going to do is, is we're going to go in and we're going to redefine move car forward for fast car as being two times the number of feet that we originally told it to move. Come down here, end our implementation. And if I hit build and run, it should compile successfully. And it does, and it gives us the same output as we had previously. So now let's go ahead and put fast car to use. In order to put fast car to use, all I need to do is, for the new car, change it from car to fast car, and then change the allocation and initialization down here. Now, the new car ended up at two before. This time, because fast car is two times as fast, it should end up at four. And sure enough, the new car is now located at 4.